Shri uh, Shripad Kalmakar is a professor of electrical engineering and head of the Teaching Learning Center at IITM. He has received the prestigious 2006 Vikram Sarabhai Award for Research, 2007 IBM Faculty Award for Research and Teaching, 2021 VLSI Society of India Best Faculty Award for Contribution in the Area of Teaching, Popularizing and Creating Some of the Best Minds in Microelectronics in the last 30 years. May I request you, sir, to please share your thoughts with the House. Professor Shripad Kanwalkar. I am very happy to... Uh, participate in this uh, particular panel discussion. Uh, I thank uh, Argus Media House for inviting me. Uh, it allows me to get in touch with uh, people of Odisha, uh, where I have been only for the last eight months. Uh, Mr. Sanjay Jana gave a very nice introduction uh, of Odisha, different aspects. And he also organized it so well, depending on the background of the uh, guests on the dais, he mentioned several points. Uh, I really liked it. <clears throat> I also thank uh, Prakash Sahu for uh, giving a very enlightening introduction. Now let me come quickly to my point, uh, my topic, and that is uh, NEP 2020 in higher education game changer initiatives. So what I will do is I have exactly 15 minutes time. What I will do is I will highlight a few unique features of NEP and I will uh, talk about how they are being implemented in IIT Bhuneshwar. Uh, it is not, the idea is not only to uh, mention what is happening in IIT Bhuneshwar but also how people can implement these ideas, right? Because ultimately the implementation is very important, uh, a policy may be very good, but unless it is implemented, you know, it is not effective. So uh, the goal of uh, NEP 2020 or its vision is to transform India into a vibrant knowledge society and Vishwaguru. That is its uh, vision. Now it has suggested several means to achieve this particular vision. I am listing here a few about which I will talk about the implementation. These few are flexible multidisciplinary education suited to 21st century needs, continuous teacher training and professional development, promotion of critical thinking rather than rote learning and encouragement of scientific temper, inter-institutional collaboration and e-learning, instilling Bharatiyata and Atmanirbharata, industry, academia, collaboration. And there are several more, but as I said, I will focus on those whose implementation I can give examples. Let's look at multidisciplinary education suited to 21st century need. This is a unique feature of this particular education policy. Every education policy that India has had has some notable features. This multidisciplinary aspect has been stressed uh, a lot in this particular education policy. So now, how can we implement this? In uh, Bhuvaneshwar here, we have AIMS and we have an IIT. Now, how can these two get together and uh, do something that is useful to the society? So here are the examples. So we are conducting a short-term course on artificial intelligence in medicine. We are also thinking of starting a MTech program later, next year, artificial intelligence in medicine, uh, medical technology, in which there will be 10 students of MBBS and 10 students of BTEC. So this is how we can put together a multidisciplinary program. Similarly, we have initiated 47 projects in which the doctors of AIMS and the faculty of IIT Bhuneshwar are together trying to address issues related to diagnosis, prevention and monitoring of diseases. 